am here with Justin, and we are sitting in the MRV. But tell me what MRV actually stands for. It's uh, the Modular Robotic Vehicle. I can't totally describe the forces that you're pulling. Like, this is surprisingly jostly for a car. <laughs> Um, there's no mechanical linkages in the, in, the, in the vehicle. So it's something that we built as a road vehicle driving around in, say, New York City, highly maneuverable, you know, getting in and out of parking spots. Why does NASA care about driving around New York City? We were able to pull a lot of technologies from this vehicle that we can apply to our rovers in the future. Say, say a, a manned Mars rover, there's a lot of technologies in this vehicle that we can use for, for, for building something like that. Yeah, so each of the wheels is independently controlled and it can, can rotate about 180 degrees in each direction. So where your car can go about you know, 10 degrees in each direction, this has got 180 degrees of travel. That lets the vehicle move sideways, diagonal, backwards, relatively easily. We built the vehicle to drive just as much like a real car as possible, so I can drive it in a boring two-wheel drive mode, or I can add the four wheels in the back and drive in a much high, higher maneuverable four-wheel drive mode, or we do what we call omnidirectional mode. Imagine just being in a, a area that you haven't really explored before, so it's very rocky, craters, things that maybe you weren't expecting. Um, having more maneuverability is always a good thing, and if you get yourself in a, in a difficult position to where maybe you're, maybe you're stuck, you can get your wheels in a different area of the, of the sand, the dirt, um, and be able to maneuver in a different direction. That can allow you to get out of some, some sticky situations. And we've done some testing of that. We've got kind of a simulated Mars and lunar environment over on the other side of campus. We've done some, some, some testing that helps us show that maybe some of this maneuverability can be useful on, on another planet. And so this vehicle, while not built for space, this can kind of be spun off into, say, the automotive industry. And some of these technologies that we're using for space can also be used in the automotive industry for cars that you drive every day.